Yes. The definition of a harvest is a person or a machine that gathers crop for 
harvest. A harvester is also a person or organization that collects or obtains a resource for future use. And I hope I said it right. Harvester. So using this definition, you can see the person we're talking about was chosen to gather people for the greatest harvest and helps them to understand their calling, their excitement, their individual gift, the anointing on their lives so they can be used by God now or in the future. So I'm excited about um, what's about to partake. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really, really excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store trying to figure out, okay, what, what kind of candy I want. Yeah, I've been into a penny candy store where there's a whole bunch of penny candy and you can pick from, so I'm excited about that. What was the name of the song that was just played? That was Danielle Sunny Bryant, of course, with Live On Purpose. I asked what was the name of that song. I asked what was the name of that song. I asked what was the name of that song. I asked what was the name of that song. I asked what was the name of that song. I asked what was the name of that song. I mean, he's usually the one that has on all the music and since the day that I've heard it, it's been contagious for me. And so I played a lot on a lot of things that we do. I'm really, really excited about um, that song. And thank you, Miss Danielle, for being, yes, Ms. Danielle. For being a obedient song. and writing that song, producing that song, or you know, whatever element you were in. I know vocally you are um, with this amazing song. It's important that we live on purpose. So I'm really, really stoked about it. What is the second song? Okay, the second song that we have is, man, Chris, our boy, J. K. Joe. Canton Joe. With Elohim. That means God. So, I mean, this, this so in this, this segment that we are doing, it's just a moment of worship. And we're what we're doing is perfectly having prophetic worship um, right now. Yeah. Yeah. First told you to live on purpose to get your hearts and minds together yes. so we can go into worship yes. together. Yes. So what is the name Elohim. of the song again? Elohim by Canton so Joe. So we hope you so we hope you enjoy the song. Yes, check it out, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. And here it is.
And we are back. And we are back. 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 back. That we was are back. Back. Jones. That was Captain Jones Elohim with and everybody know. Elohim and everybody know. If you look it up in the in the accordance, you know you do the and you know you do the the studying. He's talking about, He's talking about God. God. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. But anyway. But anyway, I like that. 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 I mean, that's this is a good album. Everything. It's like it's like this is turning like Kurt Franklin. Everything he pretty much makes. It's a guaranteed hit. I know that. But I know that Kent Jones is also someone that seeks God when it comes to music. Carefully, on how to and carefully right, and, right, and rightly put it all together. So, that's why, that's I mean, that's why, I, that's why I'm one of his biggest fans. fans. I know he takes the time off to really strategically put these songs together, you know, for the right seasons and the right times. You know, uh, and, uh, yeah, he's an awesome artist. Awesome artist. Awesome song. I love Kenton Jones. Yeah. I'm his number one fan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but then, well, but then I'm next to him. Yeah. He didn't even know about Kenton Jones. I know. I know. I know. I said that next then. No. Why can't be number no. two? Why can't be number no. two? Because you pass it on. No. Because you pass it on. No. No. I didn't pass mine. Yes, you did. No. You just so happened to get the car away from me. Yeah. Yeah. You were in the car and I was playing music and I was worshiping God. And you were like, who is this? And I said, Kenton Jones. And you're like, oh. And you're like, oh, I like it. Okay, that's all you can do is like it. That's all you can do is like it. I can't help that. Oh, my gosh, we better move on, y'all. We gotta move on. Time is time and it's precious. So, you know, that's it. You know, I'm going to move on. Yeah, you're 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 I ain't wow. What was I doing in 2004? I was I, know, I, was, I, was, I, know, I was deployed during that. Yeah, you were. And I, I think and I, Erica was. Four. I think Erica was four. Ben was three. Ben was three. Yeah. 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 My our kids are still running to me. Small and we were. We, 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 we didn't too long got to marry a couple of years for that time. Right. right. And I and I just and I was I was overseas. So yeah, you were. Deployed in the military. The Lord spoke to him. The Lord spoke to him personally as well through visions, dreams, visions, dreams, and um, prophecy, sharing with him the unique plan that God had for his life. He listened to move. He listened to and move. Acted what, he and acted on what to be the new, to be the true voice, voice of God. After training, after training and, experience, and experience, practical experience, I'm sorry, sharing the gospel, sharing the gospel in various venues. He moved, shifted, shifted towards his focus and leadership. Yeah. And leadership. In, June, in June of 2015, he was installed and ordained as a pastor. And he was set towards the Irving Establishment Junior Life Community Church. In 2017.